so this event is kind of two events put to one. One, we wanted to celebrate the current student athletes and the accolades that they've gotten in the season. And sometimes when you get those accolades, you get them only with your team and that's the only type of notoriety that you get. So what we want to do is we want to get all of our student athletes and our champions of the KPN League and the state together. And then also, every two years we do a Hall of Fame induction, which is voted on by a Hall of Fame committee of student athletes from 10 or more years ago, student athletes, coaches, or teams that had very strong resumes with accolades that really promote them above and beyond the normal student athlete. And then this event brought those two together for a great event. We had about 170 to 180 people here. So here today we had members of past Hall of Fame classes, we had members of Hall of Fame classes going in, those are standout student athletes that were captains, KPN League, Players of the Year, some of them won state titles. We had Triton Education Foundation which helped support this program. Um, financially we're here promoting it and trying to continue to promote growth of students across the school district. We had our central administration, we had our school committee members, and we had current educators and coaches from our school as well as current student athletes and their families here to celebrate this night. I graduated from Triton in 1992. I played field hockey, basketball, and soccer. I had a lot of field hockey teams. We made it to the state state, state tournament. We were Cal champs. Um, I played for an amazing coach that is inducted in the Hall of Fame two years ago. So field hockey was awesome, but softball, we were awful when I was a freshman and won one game. And by the time we were seniors, we were the first team to ever make the state tournament in school history. And back then, you had to be better than 500. So those are probably, those are tough. Cal Championship, but starting to build a softball program that turned into the program that we have now is also pretty cool. I graduated from Triton in 1978. I played, uh, played cross country, track, and ice hockey. Uh, oh, let's see, so we won Triton's first as a member of the cross country team in 1977. We won the first state championship book in Triton history, uh, and that was pretty important for us. I think enjoy the time you're there. You know, don't be obsessed with always winning and you know just trying to just try and mix academics with athletics the best you can, and hopefully that'll get you into you know. So things in life later on. I graduated in 1993. What did I play? Well, I actually played four. Uh, football, wrestling, track, and my senior year I played baseball. Favorite memory, uh, probably have to be my senior year. We beat Newburyport under the lights. Back then, they didn't have lights in many schools. Um, they were heavily favored, and we won 19 nothing that night. Uh, I'm currently a sophomore at Triton right now. Probably back uh, in freshman year, I got to play with my brother on the golf team on varsity, so that was pretty cool. Whenever there's a down, there's always an upside. So, don't ever get down on yourself. Not everyone wins, first and foremost. Um, that it's about character and perseverance, and that being a good teammate is probably the most important thing out there. Triton student athletes. Keep playing, keep striving, keep doing it. It'll help you in life. It, it's really, it was a great opportunity. It was a great experience. What we're doing, I'm one of nine. We're the Hickey Kids of Plum Island. We all played. We all played at least two sports, if not three. And everybody loved it. And it, it added value to our lives. So keep doing it, you student athletes. I think what I want them to take away from this event is the tradition is just starting here at Titan. And it continues to build. And what we want to have is, is breeding excellence, not only on the athletic field, but as well as in the community, and for people to be able to network with each other and understand that they're all part of the history here at Triton.